Hi, I'm Beth Bojerski. Get yourself settled in and let's do this. I want to start with this image. It's a good visual to represent what my paintings looked like when I started what I consider my body of work and where it is currently. But let's go back some steps. You guys, I was an adorable child. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not me. That's Tina Crow. I was an average looking child with fabulous eyebrows. I was born in Detroit and spent my early years there, moving to Wisconsin in middle school. Growing up, I just wanted to dance. <laughs> okay, that's not me either. That's the lovely Chris Dahlquist. All right, I gotta focus. Growing up, I had no real inclinations as an artist, dancer or otherwise, until this drawing happened, my sophomore year in high school. Bam, right? I drew this in art school and it was submitted by the teacher to a local student calendar contest and got third place. Yep, that was it. I wanted to be an artist. So I kept drawing, I applied and got into Kendall College of Art and Design in Grand Rapids, Michigan. There I picked up technical skills in watercolor and oils and I graduated with a BFA in illustration. Around this time, I met this guy, Mark Winter. We were painting a giant shoe together, not this shoe, an even bigger one. It's a long story for another time that involves parades and free footwear and a wedding, our wedding. In so many ways, Mark is important to my story, one of them being he eventually leads me to art shows. And a quick side note, Mark is a metal sculptor and will be part of the Lincoln Tour here on Seesaw Project in August. We can add to that shoe story then. So, after graduation, I was hired by a company here in Wisconsin doing product design. I created artwork for kids' clothes and swimwear prints and women's sweaters, as well as dishware and holiday designs, a little bit of everything and every department. That was my job. That was my creative outlet. My dad, this is my dad, hi dad, newly retired after a long career as a commercial photographer, yay. While I was in the corporate world, he opened an art gallery, a shop in Milwaukee and he wanted to include some of my paintings. Now, I wasn't painting at this time because, well, one, full-time job, and two, this. These took hundreds of hours, and as much as I love this level of detail, I just wasn't having fun working on them. So for Dad, I picked up some paints and tried something new, and this is what came out. These paintings were the first in what I consider my body of work. They started off raw and spontaneous and simplistic and above all, silly. They made me smile as I painted. And I just kept painting. I was telling stories and cracking myself up. Going back to Mark, growing up his mom was an artist exhibiting at art fairs. He followed that path, then so did I exhibiting at two or three a summer along with my corporate job. Two years later, I left clothes behind to become a full-time artist. My paintings are about telling a story. Early work had the narrative right on them and for the style of those paintings, I love the visual of the words interacting with the character. From the early pieces until now, as the time I spend with each painting increases, I push to rediscover skills for detail developed early on with the playfulness and vulnerability that has endeared me to these characters all these years. My subject matter explores that sweet awkwardness that exists in all of us. A frailty we try not to expose celebrating our imperfections as a virtue, not a flaw. I want to make you laugh. I want to make you feel guilty for laughing. 
I want you to see a friend you recognize looking back at you, as well as reflections of yourself. I see myself in each painting and it makes me smile.